This is the brand new Juliana Furtado. I'm one of the first people to get to set eyeballs on this bike. The Juliana brand is a women's centric line. They take the same basic frames as the Santa Cruz lineup, but they make some tweaks to make it especially catered to the female riders like us. It gives women something to rally around and they do a lot in the female community to help promote women in the sport. But with the Juliana brand, you still get a serious bike for the serious biker. The Juliana Furtado is the female version of the Santa Cruz 5010. Even though at a first glance, this might look a lot like the previous version, this is a completely different bike. In this latest iteration, the geometry is even longer and more aggressive, and this bike is also a mullet. So they call this setup a mullet because it's like that fabulous haircut that's business in front and party in the back. So business in front, you've got the 29 inch wheel with all that nice rollover to eat up lots of trail and a little bit of party in the back with a smaller wheel that can cut corners a little bit tighter and feel a little more nimble. The Furtado has always been known for being a fun, playful bike. One of the ways that Juliana is keeping the Furtado's fun, playful personality is completely revamping the geometry so that it takes this new mullet style bike into account and still keeping some of those ride characteristics that we love about it. The best way for you to find out how a bike like this is gonna ride is for you to ride it. Second best way would be to watch my full review, but since we don't have that yet, we're gonna talk about the third best way, which is to get familiar with bike geometry. My husband Steve from the channel Hardtail Party has the new Santa Cruz Chameleon, which is also a mullet, and the geometry on this actually reminds me of it quite a bit. So this bike compared to its previous version of the Furtado, it's a little bit longer in the reach, a little bit longer in the chainstay, which is gonna make it feel more stable at those higher speeds, but they've also brought the stack up a little bit. So that will keep some of the playfulness as you're dropping off of ledges and getting up and over things. So that's nice. That's gonna keep the front end feeling nice and playful. The head tube angle is a tiny bit slacker, but not much, which I'm glad because I feel like for this bike, it's already in the sweet spot. They've stuck with the 130 travel in the rear and it's got a 140 fork on it, which I think is phenomenal. When I had my Santa Cruz 5010, that bike was 130, 130 at the time. And I thought, ooh, I bet this bike would be awesome with a 140 fork. So it's really cool that with this bike, the Furtado, they've gone with that 140 fork in recent years. It's, it's a fantastic pairing. This is the flagship build with carbon reserve wheels, i9 one to one hubs, Pike Ultimate Fork, wireless shifting, it's the best of the best. Like all of the bikes in the Juliana lineup, this is a carbon fiber frame. Juliana and Santa Cruz bikes, you're not gonna find entry to the market kind of pricing because what they aim to provide is more of a premium riding experience. Juliana doesn't cut corners to save you cost but this allows them to provide you with a lot of really incredible features that set this brand apart. They have a lifetime warranty on their carbon frames and they have a great reputation for these carbon frames to begin with. They also have a lifetime warranty on the wheels. When it's time to replace the bearings on your bike, all you have to do is send an email to Juliana and they will send you new bearings for free for the lifetime of your bike. On a similar vein, Juliana is gonna stock small parts on your bike for 10 years, which can give you a lot of confidence if you wanna keep this bike on the trail for a long time. Nobody else does things like that. It takes a lot of extra work and customer service, time, money to stock those small parts for you for 10 years. So that's why these bikes cost a little bit more. Juliana doesn't use any proprietary parts, which means you can pretty much fix anything on this bike with a multi-tool. So if you're racing enduro on your Juliana Rubion, that's, that's an excellent feature for you. Juliana also puts the bearings not into the carbon on the frame, but they're actually into the metal. So that's gonna be a lot gentler on your carbon frame over time. The internal tubing on these Juliana bikes is also some of the best in the industry. They were one of the earlier brands to adopt that internal routing like that. And so the bikes just ride really quiet and tight. For that internal routing, they use this tube in tube thing. So it's like this little straw that it goes in there and your cable's not flopping around in the tube. It goes through that channel to where it needs to exit. 
So if you're threading cables, there's no trying to get the hook to grab your cable before it goes too far and pull it in. There's none of that. It just goes out and it exits exactly where it's supposed to. There's so many little details and things that they think of. Little things like when you go to slip the rear wheel into the grooves so that you can slide the axle in. You know, some bikes you're kind of fidgeting to try and line up both sides. With a Juliana, it's just right in there. So they've spent a lot of time engineering these really, really well. New to the 2023 Furtado is the glove box. It's this storage compartment where you can stuff tools or a burrito or some Skittles, whatever you want, but there's quite a bit of space. And I will say this down tube is significantly larger, but it makes this storage compartment actually a usable space. If you hate riding around with a backpack or a hip pack that's just stuffed full of tools, you'll love a feature like this because it allows you to get a lot of those tools off of your back and into your frame. And this little tool wallet that this comes with is also this kind of soft, foamy material. So it's not gonna be rattling around in there. On the underside of the down tube, there's this nice shuttle guard that's gonna help protect your frame if you're putting it on a tailgate to shuttle with your friends. There's also some additional frame protection underneath here. And that down tube is significantly bigger. It gives you room for those tools, but it does also give the bike a much more business kind of feel to it. The color looks phenomenal. I really like the contrast of that light green on this kind of teal blue. It just pops and looks electric. Juliana does a phenomenal job with their color schemes. And when you line up all their model years next to each other, they just look like a beautiful box of crayons all lined up. Between the new mullet setup, all the other geometry changes, the glove box, this is a completely different version of the Furtado. I'm really excited to get this bike out on the trail and see how it actually rides. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that when my review comes out, you'll get to see all of that info first. Thanks so much for watching. What feature are you most excited about with this latest version of the Juliana Furtado? Thanks for watching, get dusty.